standing with two coaches on the B National course, Conrad Paskowski and Alan Archer, what have your impressions been of the course so far? It's been fantastic. It's uh, definitely been um, an excellent experience uh, beyond my expectations um, in terms of having the, the ability and access to all the different coaches across uh, Canada and uh, the ex, ex, um, ex national players for the women's and, women's and women, men's side. Uh, it's just been an unbelievable experience. Uh, just an incredible amount of information and um, just very, very honored and, and happy to be here. You mentioned the ex players on the course. Alan, how important is it to have players who have played at the highest level come into the game at the grassroots level as coaches, as novice coaches, and have to learn this craft? Uh, it's absolutely invaluable for us, to first, particularly on this course, because they see the game at such a different level. Um, you know, they see it at 500 frames per second, where some of us are still learning, and it's 100 or 200 frames per second, right? So they can bring a, a level of understanding and a different perspective than what we're going to see, and that allows us to go back and raise the standard of play with, uh, with our own players and hopefully achieve a higher standard. How important are courses like this for uh, the community of coaches across the country to be able to connect with your peers who are coaching at other clubs, being from different communities? You're from the Ottawa area, Conrad, you're from Calgary. How important is it to build that network across the country of coaches? Oh, it's incredible. I mean, uh, I keep contact with a lot of the coaches that I run into through uh, the conferences, through the courses and so on, share ideas with each other, learn about new programming, learning about new methodologies, both in the club stream and the academy stream. So it's been a, a great learning experience and a great tool for to take back to my own club for the development there. What age are you coaching at right now, Conrad? Uh, I've got the U14, U15 boys, so it's the O3 Foothills uh, Tier 1 boys. And um, just to build on a little bit of that, it's, 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 a, it's an incredible standard that we can achieve throughout, uh, through, through the country. And really giving back to the kids is, is, is really the, the most important thing. We can actually give back a certain standard and a level. And uh, that, that coaching experience uh, really helps when, when you have um, an alignment between all the coaches uh, across the country. Uh, it's just invaluable to, to, to give to the kids. I grew up playing soccer in, in Calgary as well, and, and I've had that experience, so I just wanted to, to pass that along. And um, just to close off with the, with the coaching, it's, the, uh, it's really the alignment, the, the standard that, that, that we're trying to achieve here between all of us. You mentioned being a former player and, and a current player, um, but how important is it, Alan, do you think, to get players at your club right now started off on that coaching pathway, whether it's with the active start kids, the fundamental kids, sort of getting your teenage players into coaching at an early age? It's one of the focuses of my program is to get them developed into that role. Um, when they come out to coach, they actually understand the game more. They start to learn the principles of play more. And the reality is, is that we're fostering the passion for the sport for life. You know, it's 3% that are going to make it to the high performance level. So the majority of my players are going to be hopefully community coaches, community ambassadors for the, for the soccer programs wherever they go. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for everything you guys do for Canadian soccer. All the best in the rest of the course. Good luck, and uh, hopefully we'll see you uh, down the road.